Hello everybody, this is mrandom101, and today I'm going to be showing you how to sign up and how to buy manga or books from Honto.jp. I recommend using a browser like Google Chrome because it allows you to directly translate the Japanese contents of a web page into whatever language you prefer. Honto is a Japanese-only website. It doesn't give you English options, basically. You have to navigate the website in Japanese, so use a translation tool to more easily navigate everything. Chrome gives me the options to translate the page, go back to the original language, you can also just right click to translate. Then just go to the registration button, use whatever your email address is, put in a password. For the full name section you're basically going to put in your actual name, but you're going to have to use a full width text generator, like the one that I used here. Links will be in the description of the video, by the way. Just copy and paste. Here you have to use Furigana, so I just went back to the original Japanese page by going here, show original, and I just copied their example. This doesn't matter, this isn't important, so translate back to English. Select your personal information. This whole card section you have to ignore, unless you have a Honto membership card, which I doubt you do. Also, here, these are options that you can select or unselect with uh, what kind of emails you want to receive from Honto. Then you have to scroll below and you have to add a fake Japanese address to the website. Honto is primarily used by Japanese people, so they require you to have a Japanese address. But as a foreigner, you're never going to have to use this ever. This is a fake address, so you can just put in whatever you want into the fields. For example here, I'm just going to use a random Hokkaido postal code, and it is going to auto-complete, because this website is smart, I guess. This is a fake address, you can put in any Japanese address in here, it doesn't matter. When you're finished, just press the Agree and Register option. They don't even send you like an email where you have to confirm your account, they send you an email that acknowledges the fact that you registered, but that's it. Now let's go to my menu, and my page. We're going to do this so you can add your real address. Scroll down to member information, and here you have multiple options. You can change information whenever you want to. Now we're going to go to the address book information section. Here you can see the fake Japanese address, and it's used as a default one, but we're going to add in a new address by pressing the blue sign up button. Translate the page back into English. Here you have a overseas tab, so make sure you select this. Click on it, and give your address some kind of a name over here. So you can just call it my real address or something like that. Then just complete these fields with your actual address. When you're done, make sure that everything is correct, double check, and then click the set as default address book option, and then press the blue button to go to the next page. Here you can see what your address looks like. Translate the page back into English. If you want to modify something, you can press the fix button. If you're fine with everything, then just press the register blue button. Now you can see that your default address is your real address, wherever you live. Now let's order some manga. So here, make sure you unselect the electronic option, which is color-coded with orange. Make sure the paper option is selected, and this way, in your results, you're only going to get paper books. You don't want to accidentally order electronic books, ebooks. Here you have a safe search option. For some manga, you can just use the English title, because it's the same in Japanese. So for One Piece, for example, here you have a green button. That means it's paperback. Add it to the cart by pressing this. Here you can see the availability of the volume. So 24 hours, 1-3 days. When it says 24 hours, it basically means that the item is in stock and it's going to be ready for shipping immediately. If it says 1-3 to three days or like 7-21 to 21 days, that means they're going to have to back order the volume from the publisher and you're going to have to wait until the volumes arrive. For most manga, you will have to use a Japanese title and you're going to have to use kanji. So for example, just go on an anime database or a manga database and copy the Japanese name and just paste it in there. You can also use ISBN codes for particular volumes. I'm going to add volumes 8 and 9. 
to my cart. Here I have the Wikipedia page for Chainsaw Man. This also has the Japanese title, so you can use Wikipedia as well, for example. I'm going to add Volume 5 to my cart. If you want to add items to your wishlist, press the white button with the heart on it. In order to see the items on your wishlist, go to the menu and to the books you want. So this is your wishlist. Now, let's go to the cart. Again, this is color-coded. Orange means ebooks, and green means paperback books. Just click on the green button. This is your shopping cart. Here you have your wishlist. You can add items to your cart from your wishlist. Let's just proceed to the next page. Oh, here you can see the cost is the Japanese price because it has the Japanese tax included. As a foreigner, you're not going to have to pay that. Let's just go to the next page and translate it back. Here you can see, because you have an overseas address, it automatically reduces the Japanese goods tax, so you're not going to have to pay for that. As you can see here, the price is smaller. And this way you know 100% that your default address is your overseas one. Here you have options. Register your credit card information. You can use a debit card as well. I had some issues with my Visa debit card, but all I had to do to fix it was to call on the number on the back of my card. I talked to the people at my bank, and they basically unblocked Honto.jp. It depends what bank you have, I guess. Also, Honto works like this. When you register credit card information, Honto tries to make a transaction of 11 Japanese yen from your account so it can see if it can extract money later. Honto only charges money when the order ships out, so it takes a while. Here you have shipping options. People in the US also have the FedEx option, and these three at the bottom would be the cheapest shipping options. I will talk about shipping more a little bit later. I'm going to translate back to the original text so you can see the kanji. I personally prefer using surface shipping, also known as sea shipping, and it is the bottom option, the one that is right at the bottom. This is the cheapest way to ship manga all the way from Japan. This is in general the cheapest shipping option you can use for anything you order from Japan. Airmail is more expensive, and economy airmail is about the same thing as airmail, but SAL is not available in all countries. Here the bulk shipping option is selected by default. Basically, when all of the items in your order arrive and they're ready to be shipped, they get sent out. If you select split shipping, they're going to send out each package whenever it's ready. So each volume that is in stock, they're going to send it out immediately. This is more expensive and less convenient. Oh, the reservation thing is uh, for pre-orders, by the way. If you have coupons, you can use them. If you have points, you can use them. Honto has a points system. I personally haven't used it yet. After you input your credit card information, you can press the check your order button, and it's going to take you to the next step, where you basically confirm your order, you look over the information, and then you can complete your order. You can notice that Honto doesn't display any kind of shipping costs. That is because the shipping cost is only determined when Honto sends out the package. So all you can do is make your own estimations for what the packages are going to weigh, and I'll get into that in a second. Japan offers a shipping calculator that you can use to estimate how much the shipping cost will amount to. Basically, Honto sends their packages as printed matter, so select that option, and then specify the weight in grams. I will get into the whole weight aspect of each volume a little bit later. So I'm going to enter the weight of 2,000 grams. Honto ships from Tokyo. That's where their headquarters are at. And then pick your country. See? Here you can select the state, and you will have the estimates for how much the shipping would cost. Now let's go to a general page with a bunch of information about different shipping methods. I'm going to focus on this chart below. Here you basically have the pros and cons of each shipping method. Sea shipping slash surface shipping is the least likely 
to get caught by the customs, it's also the cheapest option, but it can take one to three months to arrive. Again, you have to decide what you prefer. Pause the video, I will leave this in the description in a link. Now I'm going to show you a chart that has various pieces of information about the different kinds of volumes that you can buy from Japan. These are the volume sizes that you will typically encounter when you want to buy manga from Japan. Show B6 is very common. It's also very common for shoujo manga. Expect it for the majority of the shonen manga out there. B6 is usually used for seinen manga or josei manga, but there are also some shonen manga that come in this size. And you have A5. This is usually used for omnibuses or special fancy editions. They tend to be heavier and more expensive. B5 is mostly used for magazines. Now I am going to showcase a few pictures. Pause the video again. This is a really nice guide, so I will link this. Here's a different perspective photo. I also made some pictures of my own, so you can get a basic idea. On the top you have a regular shonen manga, in the middle you have a seinen manga, and at the bottom you have a special edition. I also made a chart with various volumes for my collection, and how much each volume weighs. Pause the video, look over the chart, I will link this in the description. Oh yeah, and another side note, the packaging for Hanto usually weighs about 400 to 500 grams, so just add that on top of what you would estimate the manga volumes to weigh when you count everything up. Here's a introduction to Hanto and some considerations. So Hanto is one of the largest online bookstores from Japan. Besides their gigantic selection of manga, they also have a huge offering of light novels, magazines, novels, just books in general. They also sell stuff like ebooks, music CDs, Blu-rays. Hanto sells brand new products, not secondhand ones. Books in Japan are seen as items that are meant to be as accessible as possible to everyone, so the releases are kept as simplistic as possible in order to drive down the manufacturing costs. Because of this, brand new books in Japan have very low price points, but release quality is very good all things considered. The books tend to be generally smaller in size, making them very portable. Now, you might be wondering, why buy manga in Japanese even if you don't know the language? Mangaka rely on domestic sales to stay serialized. By the time something gets licensed in another language, it can be years later, if it gets licensed at all. Your favorite new manga series will most likely get cancelled if its sales are poor. Here's some quick trivia. The French manga market is the biggest one outside of Japan, and it's still very small compared to the Japanese industry. The English manga market is much smaller than the French one. Basically, the Japanese volume sales matter the most, they help the mangaka the most, and they are the biggest determining factor whether a manga gets cancelled or not. In my case, I live in Europe, and importing brand new manga all the way from Japan is significantly cheaper than buying localized English editions of manga. The key trick is to buy manga in smaller bulks, like 5 to 10 volumes, per order, and I go for the cheapest shipping option since it saves me a lot of money. There is no guarantee that I'm going to reply to any comments that I get, because I don't spend that much time on YouTube, but if I can't help you, hopefully someone else will be there to reply to any questions you have. In the description of the video, I have a paste bin with all of the useful links that I used to make this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. See ya.